son. Listen. What is it? You've been found. You must go. Now! Winter, and you're watching God's Filmmaker. In this episode, we're going to show you how to beef up your action scenes. When you're shooting action, you want the intensity of your cinematography to match the intensity of your scene. You can do this in a variety of different ways, but the way we're going to talk about today is shooting handheld or shaky cam. Action! Okay. So, and we're still all... To compare, let's see what a few shots from the opening sketch would look like on just the tripod. My son, listen. What is it? It's not as good, is it? The music is the same and the performance is similar, but the lockdown look and the lack of movement has limited the excitement and the danger. This could be the right choice for some things, but for our film it wasn't the right choice. Now let's look at true handheld. This definitely ramped up the intensity, but not in a professional way. Now you can actually get smoother handheld footage than this, but even when I was sitting there trying to do it, I was still making mistakes and still having those micro jitters in there. So this was not the best way for us to shoot it for this sketch. What we did need was a shoulder rig. We're about to find out how fire and video equipment mix. This is an example of a basic shoulder rig. Shoulder rigs reduce unwanted camera shake and serve as a platform not only for your camera but for other accessories as well. A good shoulder rig creates three points of contact. It adds weight and moves your grip away from the sensor, all of which adds stability to your shot. The effect is that you still get the shaky action cam but without all of those micro jitters and you have increased control over framing. That's how we got the handheld look in the opening sketch and that's the professional way if you want to get the handheld look. And cut. <laughs> so bonus thoughts. I expected to shoot this whole scene on the shoulder rig, but it ended up actually working better with a mix of the techniques. The opening scene looked great on the tripod, but as we move deeper into the scene and as we move farther into the story, it needed more of that shaky cam to sell the intensity. You can use different techniques like this in a scene as long as it's clear to the audience why you're doing it. So to sum up, Inconceivable! Whether you're using a phone, a DSLR, or a camcorder, you can build or buy a rig that will give you enough stability to effectively get the handheld look, which could add a lot to your film. Action. I'm doing it on the fly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> If you like this channel, I hope you subscribe, like it, share it, and come back because we want to show you some more techniques and you could be God's filmmaker. I want to give a special thanks to the Slanted Lens. They're not associated with this channel, but we watched their tutorial on how to make a DIY shoulder rig that was used in this episode. We'll include a link to that video in the description below.